Welcome to Client Attraction Secrets. Welcome to Client Attraction Secrets. Day two, everybody who's excited. Do a little wiggle in your chair. We have VIPs watching behind the scenes in Zoom, and we also have a Facebook live stream happening right to the Women's Holistic Business Network. So welcome everyone to Client Attraction Secrets. In this free online training, you are learning the simple strategies that are going to help you to reach more people and make more money which is what we all want to do. And we want to be able to help more people. You're also learning the simple strategies that will help you to attract clients who are really, truly ready to invest with you. And you're going to fill your practice and your groups and whatever it is you're doing in your business with people that you absolutely adore working with. Another benefit to this training is that you are connecting with like-minded entrepreneurs. So you get to have fun and learn together. So let's just make sure that our Facebook live stream is working. I just want to confirm that. If you're watching the replay, type the word replay in the Facebook comments. And if you're watching behind the scenes in VIP, you could have Facebook open at the same time and be commenting in there because there's a bigger community of people there. We have over 400 people registered now, and there are a lot of connections that you can have if you are chatting in the Facebook thread. So start by commenting in the Facebook thread, where are you from? Where are you watching from and what your business is? Do that right now in the Facebook thread. Where are you watching from and what is your business? Welcome, Jenny. Oh my gosh, this is so good to have you all here. Let's see those comments. Let's see those comments from everybody. Where are you from? What is your business? Rochelle is in there. Elizabeth is in there. Angie's there. So good. And I want to make a special welcome to behind the scenes in our Zoom room. We have Brittany and Kent and Rebecca and Melody and Pamela and Lisa and Chris and Maria and Steve and Laura and Harpal and welcome and Anne and Tam Tamara or Tamara. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And Bonnie and Arlana. Oh my gosh, it's so good to have you all here. Tracy, Christina. Oh my gosh. Dana, you are here over in Facebook. This is really, this is really fun. And then comment on each other as well. So give somebody a hello. Tell them that you like their business. Tell them something that you enjoy about what they're saying. You are forming a community and a connection and a network where we can learn together. And that's powerful. We need each other in this in this day and age and in this world now. So comment there. Um, if you scroll down a little bit, if you're in Zoom, if you scroll down a little bit on the Women's Holistic Business Network Facebook page, you'll see the live video. So this is a seven day training. Yesterday was about finding your clients quickly and how many of you had a result, could found, found a client, made your list of 21, actually reached out to somebody, post in the comments down below right now if you did an action step and reached out to somebody because I actually have a flash prize for somebody who took the action step from yesterday. We have a coaching session for you, a one-on-one -on -one individualized laser coaching session to get your business moving ahead. And that's what the prize entries are for. So comment as well what you what action steps that you've been taking okay i have a flash prize and I'm, we're going to be giving it away in a few minutes okay so yesterday you learned about the client attraction wheel and if you're in zoom even if you're not raise your hand if you learned something about that client attraction wheel show me your fingers so remember that our client attraction wheel is all about finding clients enrolling clients serving clients and then keeping your clients and this whole wheel needs to move together this is where you are in your business this is a complete business complete where we're focused on for this training is in finding clients attracting clients having people find you holistic marketing getting visible all the strategies and secrets and tools that you can really use to get this area of your business growing because most of us are pretty good at the serving clients. Some of us are okay too at enrolling clients. Most of us are really good at the, over here at serving clients. And then you'll learn more about keeping clients in our other programs. But here in the seven day training, we are focused on finding our clients. You also discovered the six secrets yesterday to finding clients fast. So those, oh, let me actually do this one first. You, this, we went into the six secrets and in there, your four layer why was one of them. 
So you got to have you at the base of your why. And oftentimes you might have heard, you might have heard this in other ways and in other places, like know your why, have your why. But if you don't have a complete why, and I think of it as a four layer why, and I was always drawing this out, it, I was like, you know, it looks like a cake and that's a good thing. So <laughs> everybody likes cake as long as it's chocolate. So have you at the base, your family, your community and your planet, have a why in your heart and your soul that really covers each of those. So you learned about that yesterday as well. And if you didn't catch yesterday's video, the replay is up in the Women's Holistic Business Network. You also learned the six secrets yesterday. These are them. Show up, get clear, specialize, get visible, start simple, and start local. So you want to make sure that you are starting local. So those are the six secrets that you learned yesterday. And did you implement them? What did you learn? What really stood out for you? Let's start by anchoring in what you learned. Type it in the comments down below right now. What did you learn yesterday? What was the most important thing that you learned? What really stuck out for you? What's something you implemented? What's something you knew before but confirmed and you went, mm, I actually have to do that. So type it in. Type it in. Oh, cool. Like I'm seeing some good results here. So type in into the Facebook chat. What did you learn yesterday? What was the most important thing? What was interesting? What's a change you're going to make as a result of what you learned yesterday? Type that in right now into the Facebook chat so that you can share what you learned. You also learned that having a project and being of service can be exactly what you need right now because action and service are like a healing bomb for stressful times. And how many of us have been going through a bit of stressful times lately? Raise your hand if you've been going through intense or intensity or stress. So taking action is really important. Working on your business right now is actually a gift to your life. So who took the action steps from yesterday? Remember those action steps were connect with your potential clients and make, and make a post or an email with, to them. And then action step number two was make a list of 21 people that you could reach out to for clients and actually reach out to one or two of them, maybe even a few. So how many of you took the action step yesterday? And as these are coming in, this is so good. Uh, very good points. Reaching out to people. I love it. So good. I'm reading your Facebook comments. Yeah, action steps. So we have a flash prize to give. And the flash prize is going to one of you who commented on that mother post for contest day one. Are you ready for it? Can I have a drum roll, please? Because we're going to give out a flash prize right now. And it is going to go to, let me just pull it up. Oh my gosh, there's so many of you. I'm pulling up our winner. Can I have a drum roll, please? It is going to Cindy Chipcase gets our flash prize for today. She gets a 30 minute laser coaching session with our coaches and that's valued at $200. So this is a really sweet, really sweet flash prize. So Cindy Chipcase gets our flash prize today. She made a list of over 30 people that she could connect to and she really appreciated the reminders to serve her community first. And she reached out to a few on her list who were happy to schedule appointments right away. Like she did that action step yesterday. She reached out to them and people started scheduling appointments. So congratulations to those of you who entered that. We will do another one for today. You got to stay on to the end. And today's contest is, there will be flash prizes, but today's contest is going for, we're going to be giving away actually $5,000, a $5,000 prize package in business, training, education, and support. So this is really exciting. Who wants to win a prize? Type the word prize in the comments down below. Right now, type the word prize. Yay. And I'm so happy that Facebook Live is working right now. And I want to thank and acknowledge all of you yesterday. We, it was so glitchy. <laughs> and you all just held such beautiful space for that. So thank you. You're incredible. Truly. And we'll make sure that you know how to win the prizes for today too. This is so cool. All right. So we have, like I said, we have Facebook Live viewers and we also have our behind the scenes Zoom classroom going and that's just for VIPs. So if you want to join as a VIP and get behind the scenes, all the recordings of this training in a library for lifetime, a beautiful, valuable handbook that's going to help you to work through all the steps and exercises. There are um, 
uh, checklists and prompts in there and behind the scenes, more training in that handbook, that's worth it alone for the 17 bucks to upgrade to VIP. So our team can post the VIP link. If you haven't already got VIP, go ahead and grab it. If you do have VIP and you're like, where's my stuff? Search your junk mail for support at women's holistic business academy.com. For some reason, some people's words going there. And the VIP behind the scenes is great. We hang out afterwards and you get laser coaching, connection and networking in the Zoom room. And I just want to acknowledge our coaches who are here also supporting our coaches and our team. It's really incredible. So can everybody who's on Zoom and Facebook just hold your hands up and give some love to our amazing coach and staff team. We've got lots of people amazing this. All right. So remember also we are 10 a.m. every day. Tuesday through Friday, and then Saturday is a special masterclass also at 10 a.m. And you're going to want to join that masterclass as well, because you're going to learn the 10 mistakes that holistic practitioners make, and you don't want to be making those. And then Sunday is off for you to catch up. There'll be watch parties happening throughout the day. And Monday, October 26th is a live stream extravaganza where we will, we will be bringing on guest expert thought leaders who are going to help you to become a magnetic client attractor, help you to really grow your business, help you to find the people who are waiting to be served by you and have it be really easeful as well. And you've, you want that for your business. I've been talking to so many of you that you want the ease and the flow and that you decided to have a business because you had a feeling in your heart that you wanted to help people. How many have that? Put your hand on your heart, raise your hand if you're in Zoom and say, help people in the Facebook chat. If that's why you started your business, because you actually wanted to make a difference, help people, serve people. You can post that in. You want to help the world and you want to also change your own life because you know this is your time that's meant for you and that you're made for greater things also. So I just wanna really acknowledge you for being here in this training and taking the time to focus on your business. It can make a huge difference in your life. How will you get the most out of this training? Get involved, chat in the Facebook thread, comment, write, also get silly. Like when I say wiggle around or move or raise your hand or post, let yourself get involved. It actually helps to wake up the learning part of your brain when you move or raise your hands or use colored pens when you're writing your notes, use fun colors. And another thing that you can do to get the most out of your training is to get present. The most successful people on the planet are also the most present. So eliminate distractions and just be here for this time that we're here together to learn. And one more tip for you, be easy on yourself. This is an accelerated course, it goes fast. Some of you are just starting out in business. Some of you have been in business for a long time in your pros. Wherever you are, make sure that you are knowing where you're at and just going from there. Knowing that if you're in an advanced place, you can, <coughs> excuse me, you can cough in the middle of your live stream. If you're advanced, okay, I'm going to need to get a sip of water. Brittany, tell them something amazing about how they can get more out of this training while I drink some water. <laughs> yeah, so lots of ways that you can get more out of this training. Like Elizabeth said, grab your colored pens, um, write down things the next day. So we've already locked in some of the things that we learned yesterday and move your body. That is one of my favorite ways to lock in information is just get your body moving while you're speaking some of the information out loud and it really gets it into your soul. Yay, I love that. Isn't it great to have backup? Total tickle in my throat. It's really dry out because it's gotten cold. <laughs> so we have the heater on nonstop. Okay, so like I was saying, and thank you, Brittany, if you're an advanced person, you can, you can spiral out and see how we're doing things. Simple things such as what if you get a tickle in your throat or what if your power goes out or your internet glitches or how to lead on a higher level if you're just a beginner remember one step at a time how many steps at a time everybody hold your finger up just one put your hand on your heart one step at a time and commit to staying out of overwhelm by just taking that one step at a time so who's ready for more tips tools and inspiration on your path today raise your hands up let's do this you're going to learn the secret places to find clients this week 
the secret to getting clients online as well, which is super important, and the secret to getting a steady stream of clients so it doesn't start and stop and you wonder where the next clients are coming from. So how many of you are ready for more clients? Type in the comments, more clients, knowing that when you type it in the comments, more clients, that the universe is going to hear it and give you more clients. And imagine that if you didn't type more client, more clients in the comments down below right now, that the universe would be thinking, I guess she doesn't want more clients. He doesn't want more clients. They don't want more clients. So you better type the word in more clients, the phrase more clients in right now. In today's secrets, you're going to learn the strategies that are going to help you to reach more people. It's going to be simple steps to help you to find clients who are really ready to invest. And I know that you're going to start to fill your practice with people you really love working with. So remember yesterday I shared a little bit about how I struggled in business and struggled with doing too much and ended up burning out. I also want to share about how I was afraid to be to be visible and afraid to get in front of my business. I was afraid of making mistakes, of not being perfect. I'm a Virgo, so that might have something to do with it, of being judged, of being hated. And I was afraid of all those things. And then look at what happened. I was afraid of not being perfect. Look at what happened yesterday. Our live stream failed. <laughs> it was not working. And there were so many glitches. And it was, imagine, it was like my worst nightmare. And it was so beautiful because I didn't mind. I was like, this is technology. It's okay. People will be forgiving. And I realized that maybe part of that process of having the technology fail was to also a teaching for all of you that it's okay. You can keep going. And yesterday on the Facebook Live, those of you who are in Zoom, like you're good, you got the whole training, but on Facebook Live, they missed part of it. So I went in there and I redid the entire video and I just did that from my heart and it felt so amazing. So you don't have to be perfect. You just have to have, you have the willingness. And that was the mindset we worked on yesterday. You just have to have the willingness to get out there and do it. Today's mindset, are you ready for today's mindset? Today's mindset is something that's really important that you need as you walk the path of an entrepreneur. And you might think, oh, you need a perfect system or plan, or you need to cultivate confidence. It's not true. What I've discovered is that all you need is this very important thing called courage. Somebody write it in the chat right now. You do not have to be perfect. You do not have to even have it even work because you can always redo you do not have to feel like it. You do not have to know what you're going to say. You do not have to never get a tickle in your throat. You just have to have the courage to step forward, share your gifts with the world, and know that there's a bigger picture and there's a, there's a bigger thing at work that is calling you forward. So if you felt a calling on your heart and you know that courage is going to be something that helps you to get out there and serve people type the word courage down below type the word yes down below in the comments because courage is something that can really help so who can relate to having courage or not having courage type in the comments like what your experience with have you had courage and you're fine with it or do you feel like you need it type in what your experience is and if you're in my zoom room put your hands up if you're like i need courage and look around you're not alone you need that so how many of you want more courage you're writing it in the comments now, how many of you just want more clients as well raise your hand up if you're in zoom type clients if you're there in the facebook chat how many of you would rather have your customers and clients find you than you having to go out there and find them raise your hands type in the words i want them to find me if you're in that i want them to find me now how do your potential customers and clients find you if you're not out there this is the big question of the day everyone how do they find you if they can't find you it's kind of like a conundrum. This is where you need to just call in your courage and say, I'm going to put myself out there. Maybe I'm going to do an email that I haven't done in a while and I have to call in my courage. Maybe I'm going to make a list of 21 potential clients and I'm going to reach out to three of them. Maybe I'm going to reach out to 10 of them. It takes courage. So putting yourself out there takes courage and just call on that every day when you're like, oh, I don't want to do it. Muster your courage and that's your heart. 
that's your heart that's going to help you to carry forward. And that's what it means to have a heart-centered business. So heart-centered business is where we are. I love this, Tatiana. Tatiana has plenty of courage. I love that. Shell says, yes, please, more courage. Oh, and Jess says, I would love my clients to find me. Uh, Melody's, Melody's like, they can find me. This is really good. Really, really good. Keep keep commenting everyone it makes a difference and then put a little heart by somebody else's comment if you like what they have said christy says courage comes from facing down the thing that intimidates you if finding clients is the thing that intimidates you everyone that's the one you got to face that's the inner work of business all right who is ready to get to some practical outer work of business strategies and tools put your hands up so we are in this part of the client attraction wheel, remember, where we are working on finding our clients. And that's what this whole training is all about. And in December at our annual conference, which will now be online, you'll learn exactly how to enroll clients and serve clients in long-term high-end packages. Um, the most important part of your business and where you should actually be spending 80% of your efforts is, guess what, in the finding clients portion right here, finding clients. So finding clients, it was backwards for me for a second. <laughs> finding clients is where you should be spending 80% of your time if you wanna make money and be paid. Now, if you've got lots of time and lots of money and you don't care, then spend all your time on, your, on other things like making your beautiful website. But if you want clients and you want money now, just spend time finding them. And in order for that to happen, you'll need today's secrets. So today's secrets, I have got eight of them for you. So get eight things ready, eight secrets to attract more clients. Write, the, write that down, eight secrets to attract more clients. And I have something great for you today. No cards, eight secrets to attract more clients for today. Because who needs slides when you've got no cards? <laughs> so you're going to learn the eight secrets to attract more clients today. Let's just jump right in with number one. Ready? If you're ready, type the words ready in the comments down below right now. All right. Ready. Number one is get to know your clients. Sometimes holistic practitioners, spiritual teachers, we have the feeling that we get downloads of ideas of what we want to put out in the world. And we get so excited about that. Who here is guilty of that? You're like, I got a download. I know what people need. But without ever actually talking to real people. So this is a really important part of any business, and especially a business that serves people, especially a business that helps people with their health, their transformation, and their awakening, making sure that you get to know your clients. How do you do that? Survey them. Do a poll on Facebook, a poll anywhere. Do research on the type of people that you love to work with. A little secret research hack is like, is by going on Amazon books and seeing what books are out there on the topic that you want to help people with. That's a really nice way to do it. And if there are lots of books, it means it's a good marketable topic. Um, another thing that you can do to get to know your potential clients, and this is so powerful, is to do what we call potential client interviews. Just interview people. Just find people and talk to them for five or 10 minutes and find out what their problems are, what their struggles are, what they worry about, what hurts them. And there's a whole system uh, that we use to teach this. And it happens at our, just our event in December. So you'll want to, you'll want to learn that as well, but you can do potential client interviews to get to know your people. What other ways can you get to know your people? Type in the comments below and what other ways can you get to know your potential clients? And that's one of the most important things that you can do to attract clients is get to know them. And when you talk to people and you ask them about their, themselves, there's a side benefit that they'll start to pay attention to you because they see that you care. How many of you have seen that people care about you and you like them more, you want to open up to them? when they ask you about them, about yourself. So you're doing that when you're getting to know your clients in your potential client interviews. All right, so number two, who's ready for number two? Are you ready? Serve your potential clients. So now that you're getting to know them, you can actually start to serve them. What does that mean to serve them? It means you give first. One mistake that I see holistic practitioners making is just saying, you should come work with me buy my stuff. I'm so amazing. <laughs> and you are. You're so amazing. And people should buy your stuff. 
But if you don't serve first, that's where you can get into that sticky place where you feel like you're pushing or where people are like, oh, she's trying to sell, sell to me. Whereas if you just serve first, serve from your heart, serve from your soul, it's a really feminine way of doing business as well as starting with service and starting with being generous. So serve people first. Don't expect people to buy from you if they don't know you. People like to buy from people that they know. And so let people get to know you when you're serving them. So a strategy for this is to do your emails. Talk about yourself. Talk about what you've got going on. Do your emails and give them free tips. Weight loss tips, health tips, de-stressing tips, parenting tips. You can just give people weekly tips on email, social media posts, or even better, video. And we teach how to do video in our eight-week program. All right. So be of service. Just be a light in the world for people. And that's how you earn the right to sell to them. Be of service first and then earn the right to sell to people. That's what it means to be a holistic practitioner who embraces holistic marketing. Serve first. So that is secret number two, serve be of service. And you know, the Buddha said that being of service is one of the greatest paths to spiritual awakening. Who wants that? We love that. Okay. Number three, this really leads service leads us into secret number three today, which is build relationships, build relationships with people. This is what I like to think of as the relationship code. Your business success depends 100% on people. Clients are real people. When we think about marketing, sometimes holistic practitioners and spiritual teachers are like, oh, I don't want to market. But really, marketing is all about relationships. And do you want relationships? Relationships are what are going to heal the world. So who here wants those? Give me a thumbs up. Yes. Yes. Relationships. And remember also, as you're following along here in the Facebook thread, post your comments, post the post these, somebody type these in. This is really good. So build relationships, really important for your people, get to know your people. They're real. And so this, that relates back to number one, which is get to know them and relationship building takes time. So build the relationship nurturing it over time. Don't expect that somebody's going to be wanting to buy from you within a day. They're going to need hours of you before they purchase. That It might take them months. It might even take people a couple of years before they sign up for what you have to offer. So be consistent as you're building your relationships. And remember this quote, connection is currency. What's the quote? Say it out loud if you're in my Zoom room with me. And connection is currency, write it down in the comments down below, especially when making people are making buying decisions. And connection is currency, especially now, especially now, it really matters that you are authentically connecting with the people that you would love to serve. So make sure you're doing that. All right. So that was number three, build relationships. Are we ready for number four? All right. And as we as you're following along in the Facebook comments, everybody, somebody type this in just in case somebody else misses it. All right. Number four, use the proximity principle. I think there's a book about this. I love this. Use the proximity principle. Hang out where your clients hang out. Be around people that you want to serve. Go to online gatherings or events or whatever it is. And when you can get in person, go to the places where your people are. Be around them. That's the proximity principle principle. You can use social media, professional associations, LinkedIn, websites, forums, Facebook groups, like where do people that you want to serve hang out? And then another layer of this is to align with people who are being, doing, and having what you want and try to get close to those people. That's the proximity principle. And this will really help in attracting clients to your business be around people. All right, number five. Are we ready for number five? <clears throat> number five, create a community, grow a following. Don't wait for it. Don't wait for your community to find you. Don't wait to be included in something, but be the community creator. 
be at the center of the vortex of your community. I've experienced this. And I grew up in a, a small, at the time was a smallish town that didn't have a lot of resources for spirituality or wellness or yoga or consciousness or personal development, did not have a lot of resources. There was a section at the library, the very tiny library at the time, there was a section at the library about this big, full of the spiritual wellness books. And as a teenager, I would go into the library to the section of new age, occult, spirituality, those kind of books. And I would, I would dive into those and learn about crystal healing and learn about wellness. That's all there was. And I decided and realized that if I wanted something to happen, that maybe I had to create it. And so I created monthly community dances. I created a health and wellness magazine. I created a wellness festival. I built that community over a 20 year period. And I contributed to it. I ran a yoga studio and a wellness center. I built the community and built the community. And as you know, sometimes I was working for free. Sometimes I was giving my, my time away. And it took like 10 years for me to figure out how to start to make money at it. But it doesn't have to take you that long. It does not have to take you 20 years to build the community. It doesn't have to take you 10. Like the community is built for you, everyone. Lean into the communities that you have. Create your own community. With the online world, what used to take us 10 years to build, you can now build in a matter of months. So you can build a really strong following on Facebook. You can build a community on Facebook by having a Facebook group. So I promise you, yours does not have to take you that long. And we have an eight-week program that I'll tell you more about tomorrow where we'll be, we'll be walking you through step-by-step -step how to get online, how to create your community, and how to master your holistic marketing. So you can create community and grow your following by having a Facebook group. So those of you who are in the Women's Holistic Business Network, say hello, grow a following, grow your community. We'll teach you how to do Facebook groups and online marketing tomorrow. So make sure you are here tomorrow. I'm going to teach you some of the most important pieces of this entire training. So going back to, where were we? There it is. <laughs> I lost my card. Create community, grow your following. Start now. If you think, oh, well, I don't need any clients right now. Well, you wouldn't be here in this training if you thought that, but if you were like, oh, I don't want to do it right now, or I'm not launching something until the new year, start growing your community right now. This is the best time to start your community. All right. If you're willing to start your community, type the word community in the comments down below right now. Type the word community in the comments down below right now. Okay. Number six, you're going to love number six get media featured. This is a, an excellent way to start to get more clients and to start to get visible. And it's really fun as well. It's a really, it's a nice way to start to get out there is get media featured. What do I mean by that? Podcasts, radio, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, even LinkedIn, get interviewed reach out to those places and let them know that you would be willing to do a weekly or a monthly wellness connections or wellness Wednesdays. I used to go on a local radio station and do wellness Wednesdays. Um, I used to go on local TV stations when I had an event coming up and teach about wellness and teach about health. So you can get featured because you have something to give, which really starts with the, here you go, number two, it links us back to number two, which is serve your potential clients. The best way to get featured is instead of saying, I want to come on and promote my thing, they will be like, no, that's not happening. <laughs> instead of that, if you say, I would like to come on and teach people how to de-stress. Do you have a spot for me to come on for like five minutes a week onto your radio show? Um, a monthly, potentially a monthly show, something like that. It's a great way to attract clients to have people see you. Another great way is articles. So written articles, there are online global sites, local online local websites, your city has a website, every single one of you, your city has a website. And you could get articles onto your city's website as well. All you 
do some research about what local publications are in your city and your state or your province, depending on where, or your, yeah, depending on where you live. So you can get featured in local articles as well, and local sites. Now there are the big ones like Huffington Post and the big blog sites. You can try to get featured on those too. Go for it. But just like in yesterday's secrets, start local. So that when you want to get featured on the bigger sites, you can say, I've been featured in these 10 media platforms. And they're going to be like, wow, they don't care that they're local. It's just the fact that you got featured on media. So local newspapers and magazines, focus on those too. Um, and then blog sites, of course, other people's blog sites, you can be a guest blogger and on your own as well. And here's another secret that you can do. This is really fun. You can do it with each other right here is trade interviews interview each other on your platforms. Somebody type that in the comments down below right now, interview each other. And if somebody would like to interview somebody else here, type in the comments down below right now, I wanna interview somebody, I wanna trade interviews and start to, co start to connect with each other right now because this is a powerful community right here we have a really powerful connected community that can generate a lot of income and business and clients for all of you so you there we go let me just get my next card up get media fe featured was number six get media featured here we go <clears throat> yay i see somebody down there we got uh, ideas for getting you all featured what a community we have this is incredible number seven are you ready for number seven get on video you might not be ready for number seven <laughs> but i'm going to recommend that you get on video and if i can do it so can you it took me five years to make videos as you all know i've been in business for a really long time i was pu publishing a magazine producing events running a yoga studio and wellness center but get me on video was not going to happen. I preferred to hide out behind my business. You might not believe this, but I'm a bit of an introvert. I like to hang out and be quiet and like hide a lot. But I also want to be of service. And that's what drew me to being on video because I, I just felt this calling that I had something to share. And I wanted to be of service, but still there was that voice in me that was like, but you're not good enough and you don't look good enough and all the chatter has anybody else had that when it comes to getting on video when i say get on video what are the fears that come up for you post it in the comments down below right now when i say get on video what are your fears what are your holdbacks what are your hesitations and like i said i was so afraid of not doing it perfectly and of being judged that i made a video and then i hit it for two years and then I tried again and made another video. I literally hid that video for two years and didn't make any more videos. And then I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll make a video and recorded it. And it was so awkward and so uncomfortable and just so, I was so stiff. I was like, <laughs> and then I discovered Facebook Live. And when you hit that live button, it just rolls. So if you get a tickle in your throat or like a fly fr flies across your screen or like something drops or whatever happens, it doesn't matter. The thing about live video is that it just rolls and people expect you to be a little bit imperfect on it. And video is one of the most powerful ways that you can connect with people right now. There's a lot online, there's a lot of words online, but video is where we can really start to form those true connections and let people get to know you. And if I, as a shy, introverted, afraid, totally afraid of judgment person can do it. I know for sure you can do it too. And it does not have to take you five years to actually get on video. So video is such a powerful magnetizer for your business. And this group right here, this is your safe place to practice. It's safe and non-judgmental. It's your safe place to practice being on video so you can get on video and i'm going to be telling you about a video challenge contest that's coming up and your opportunity to win a five thousand dollar prize package and who would want that who would be willing to push themselves out of their comfort zone for that when we think about video 
your fears come up and I just want to, oh, I love this. Rochelle says video is fun for her now, but she used to hide. Oh, I love that. Yeah. She used to hide. How many of the rest of you used to hide? And when I think about video and when I think about our businesses, I also think about our comfort zones and how, where we are in our life and where we are in our little bubble, that's your comfort zone. It's comfortable for you to maybe write an email or it's comfortable for you to never connect with your clients or your audience and never write emails. It's comfortable for you to never reach out. It's comfortable for you to never try to get clients, for you to never make videos, for you to never post social media posts or do emails. That's comfortable and that's in your comfort zone. Who knows this comfort zone thing? You've heard about comfort zone. Now, where is everything you want? Answer the question in the Facebook chat right now. Where is everything you want? Is it inside your safe, cozy little comfort zone? Where is everything that you want? It's outside your comfort zone. Everything that you want is outside your comfort zone. It's out in the realm of uh, the unknown, the unfamiliar. It's out in the realm of where you need courage to step forward into it. Your clients, guess what everyone? Your clients are outside of your comfort zone. All of your future clients are just outside of your comfort zone. And it takes you being willing to step out that willingness and it takes the courage to step out and reach beyond your comfort zone to get those clients. So I love what you're writing here. Oh, Harpal says, out of my closed box. Erin says, out of the comfort zone. Helen says, outside. And I love what Melissa wrote, get out of that comfort zone, everyone. So keep writing in the comments below, just boosting each other up to get outside the comfort zone. So who's ready to get outside their comfort zone? Do a little wiggle in your chair right now. Even if your family thinks you're crazy, do a little wiggle in your chair right now to get outside that comfort zone. Do a little stretch, shake your hands, shake your whole body, take a deep breath. Everything you want is outside your comfort zone. So we have a video challenge contest for you all. Are you ready for it? Your chance to win a $5,000 prize package. I'm going to tell you about the video challenge and I have one, remember we have eight secrets for today, right? So I have one secret left for you. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the video challenge. Your video challenge is, here we go. It's the bold video contest. You're going to make a two minute video. It's got to be two minutes or less. It can't be over two minutes or you will not be entered to win $5,000. Post a two minute video or less. It's got to be imperfect. It can't be perfect. That's the deal. You can't look too good. <laughs> you do not have to be perfect in your video. So be bold in your video and comment on three other people's videos. That's how you enter the video contest. To post a two minute video, I'm going to tell you more about be bold and then comment and give love to three other people. You're not entered to win $5,000 until you've done this step. We will take a picture of this even and post it for you. And that'll be your reminder of how to enter the contest. Now you can make a separate post, a separate post. It does not have to be under the a mother post in order for you to post your video. You can do your video pre-recorded or you can go live. Hopefully everybody doesn't go try to go live at once. Otherwise we might rig the internet, but you can go live. Now I've got another secret for you and I'm going to share a little bit more. Oh, WHBA. That's the women's, sorry, WHBN, Women's Holistic Business Network. That's where you are right now if you're watching in Facebook. So right here in this network is where to post the video. It's a safe container for you to practice, for you to be imperfect, for you to just try out making a video. I love it if it's your very first video ever. And where is my phone? Because I'm going to show you how to make a video. Here it is. I found it. I'm going to show you how to make a video right now on your phone. So what you do with your phone is you take it and you turn it sideways. Everybody do it with your phone right now. Sideways. You got to turn off the unlock button because your video is better when it's sideways. So you're going to turn it sideways. You're going to get in front of a bright light like a window or the outdoors, or if you have some kind of a light, you can put it up. So light is really important. It's phone sideways. And then don't look down on it because that's kind of not really of a flattering angle, but get your phone up a little bit to eye level where it's a natural, a natural level for you to look at. And look in your camera 
and make us a video. Now, if you want us a couple of other tips, if you're a VIP inside your workbook in VIP, the final page resource guide is a video tip sheet. I brought that video tip sheet together from thousands of hours of video interview experience and all of it. So you can use that video tip sheet, those of you who are VIPs. I'm gonna give those the rest of you though, a couple of hot tips. Are you ready for these hot tips? Use a headset, plug a headset into your phone for better sound. If you have one of these little inline mic headsets, that's perfect. All you gotta do is stick that in your ear and it's gonna record your voice so much better. Make sure you plug it into your phone. So get your phone up, get in front of a bright light, use a headset and make a two minute imperfect, awesome hello video. You're gonna tell us your name and what you do. And then the next thing you're gonna do on that video is tell us what you stand for. What are you here to do in the world? Who are you here to help and to serve? And this is, are you ready for it? This is secret number eight from today. <laughs> Be bold. This is actually one of the top secrets to attracting clients. This is one of the most important things that you can do in your entire business is to be bold. So many of us who are healers, practitioners, spiritual leaders, who want to make a difference in the world and help people, we're a little bit too humble. And I think that humility is one of the best things that we can have. It's so needed. But when it comes to standing for change and transformation that is so needed on the planet today, we need you all to be bold. We need you all to muster your courage, step out there and be bold with people and with the world. Tell people that you have a healing gift to share. Tell people that you have a solution to their stress, their pain, their trauma, their problems in their relationships, with their health, with their mind, with their body, with their heart, with their soul. You have a solution for people. And if you're not telling people about it, you are hiding it. So this is, I'm calling you all out, everyone. Somebody type it in the comments down below right now. Be bold. Type it in the comments. Be bold. This is what is what do you stand for? What are you here to do? Who do you who are you here to serve? What are you taking a bold stand for in the world? Maybe you're taking a stand to put an end to something. Maybe you're taking a stand to help a certain group of people with something because nobody should ever have to go through something that you've been through. What have you been through that that you just want nobody else to have to go through. And if, if nobody else has to go through that or walk that path alone, that path of pain or trauma, that you know that you would have done your work here in the world. If being bold is the key to that, would you be willing to do it? Put your hand on your heart if you're willing to be bold in service to the world, in service to healing, in service to other people. Type in the comments, I'm willing to be bold. I am bold. Yes, be bold. So how this relates to your two-minute video and your chance to win a $5,000 prize package is you post that two-minute video. You say, hello, my name is this, and I'm. this is my business. This is what I do in my business, and I'm here to stand for this. Or you could even say, my bold stand is this. My bold stand is I want to make sure that nobody ever has to suffer from XYZ pain. And this is why. And it's two minutes or less. So you're going to introduce yourself, your business, and what your bold stand is. Remember, your video does not have to be perfect. It's better if it isn't. And it's just here for us in the Women's Holistic Business Network as part of this training. So you're going to post that video. And then what's the other thing that you're going to make sure you do when you post your boldness in your video? Comment, love on three other people. This is really important if you want to win the prize. If you go over two minutes, you can't win the prize because there's going to be so many of you. <laughs> All right. These videos have to be in by 8 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow. So that's 8 a.m. Pacific time. Help me out. Thursday, 8 a.m. Pacific time Thursday. These videos have to be, sorry, these videos have to be in by then to win the flash prize. 
they can continue to trickle in all week in order to win the $5,000 prize. So you have time to get those in. But if you want to win tomorrow's flash prize, they got to be in. And I just encourage you, get that video in. And then we'll take the rest of the week to continue to review your videos and go over them and receive more video entries. And the $5,000 prize is going to be given away on Monday, October 26th. So get your videos in. I'm loving this. I love that Christina wrote, I'm willing to be bold. And Helen wrote, I am bold. I love this. So good. So we are, we have your eight secrets from today. Your eight secrets. What were they? And what was the secret that really stood out to you the most? What's the one that you need to work on? Type in the comments down below right now. What's the, what's the secret of the eight that you want to work on the most? Whoops, that's number seven. We got to go in the right order. Hold on, everybody. We need the right order. There we go. I'm going to make, I'm just going to do like a, a whole pile of cards. <laughs> What's number one? Get to know your clients. Number two, serve your potential clients. Start in service. Give to them. Give them free stuff. Give them emails and videos tips, ideas, recipes, pain relief. Number three, build relationships. Really focus on long-term relationship building with people. <laughs> Somebody just posted a Spock video in the Facebook thread. I love you all so much. <laughs> this is so much fun. Number four, use the proximity pr principle. Get close to your clients and get close to people who are doing what you want to be doing and having the kind of success that you want to be having. Number five, create community, grow your following, be you be at the vortex of your own community. You be the one, you be the one to create your own community. I keep looking at this other camera that's up here. Okay. Number six, get media featured, get media featured. So important. You can get out there, you can get featured and you'll start to be seen as an expert in your communities and people, clients are magnetized to that. When you write an article, people are like, wow. And number seven, get on video. I'm seeing, oh good, I'm seeing you in the Facebook comments typing what the number one that you need to work on is. So number seven is get on video and you have a quick tip today. Get your video camera or your phone upwards, turn it sideways, look, look in the camera, get a good sound happening with a little device, a little microphone and put some bright light on your face. And then number eight really brings these all together to be bold be bold and stand for people. Be bold and serve people. Be bold and share your message, message with the world. Be bold and let people know that you have healing gifts to give to them. Be bold. Tomorrow, I'm going to be teaching you online tools to get in front of your clients easily, quickly, and within total alignment with your holistic values. These online tools are some of the things that I've brought together over the past decade to produce thousands of wellness workshops, to publish a magazine, to run a busy yoga studio and wellness center, to create the Women's Holistic Business Academy and everything that we've done and to generate hundreds of thousands of dollars of income. So if you want these online tools, type in the comments below right now, I want the online tools. You're gonna to learn those tomorrow. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to be here for that. And remember, in order to win the video contest, the bold video contest, post your two minute video, be bold. Take a bold stand in that video. Tell us what you stand for and comment on three others' videos. You're definitely going to want those. So those are your tips for making your videos. That's the contest. What is the number one thing that you learned today? What's the action step that you're going to take today? What's your action step? that you're going to take today, type it in the comments down below right now. My action step is, and your action step might be, I'm going to enter that contest. Your action step might be, oh my gosh, I'm going to make, I'm going to make an email for my, for my email list and I'm going to be bold in it. I'm going to invite people to work with me. I'm going to tell them some tips or ideas. Yours might be, I'm going to serve people. I'm going to start by writing up a recipe I've been meaning to write up and share it with people or write up some tips on how to live a better life. Be generous. Be generous with your people. You can make a real difference in the world and we're here to make a difference in the world. You're here to share your holistic heart and your holistic healing. 
your transformational packages and processes and the things that you do with people, it's needed out there. And you have a sacred contract with people who are out there waiting for you to be the one to teach them. So make sure that you get out there, be bold and teach your people. And remember, come back tomorrow. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be absolutely incredible. So I love, I love what's happening in the comments. So Donna's Donna's written in that her action step is to follow up. Congratulations, Donna. I love it. So good. Uh, Kent's action step is to enter the contest and invite 10 more people to my Facebook group, to her, his Facebook group. I love that. This is so good. And I'm seeing all your comments and the tools that you want to use and make sure that you enter the video contest. We'll be giving a flash prize away tomorrow, a $5,000 prize at the end of this training. There's so much more coming for you. And I just want to say congratulations for working on your business, for being incredible, and for doing the work that you're doing in the world. It's so needed. It's truly needed. And you may have heard me say this, when we work on our businesses, we change the world. When we work on ourselves and our businesses and get out into our communities and help people heal, that has a ripple effect of transformation that can make a huge difference in the world. If you're here to make a huge difference in the world, type in the comments, I'm here to make a difference. Type in the comments also what you learned, what your greatest learning and gain from today is. Type that in the comments down below right now. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. There's still so much more goodness for you to come for the rest of the week. If you are VIP, hang out. We're going to be diving deep and getting you some laser-focused business coaching, Q&A, and some networking happening as well. If you're not VIP yet and you want VIP and you want all the recordings of this stuff for a lifetime, just click the VIP link that the coaches will put in and you can still upgrade and get all the goodies and join us for VIP. All right, everybody. So if you're in Facebook, we're signing you off. If you're VIP, you can hang tight right here. Congratulations, Facebook. Congratulations, Women's Holistic Business Network. You are all amazing. Get out there, get some clients, take your action steps. Take steps towards your business. Let's make, some, let's make some things happen this week. Who can get a client this week? Who can get three clients this week? And let's celebrate you. So Facebook, we love you. We'll see you really soon. And we're gonna stop our Facebook recording, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> let's see if I press the more buttons. Stop live stream, that's the button. Bye everybody.